Yeah, Subway. Ooh. But why? Bro, dude, they're they're not that bad. It's true, but I mean, I, there's just something wrong to me about like plain flavorless chicken that they reheat in a microwave. You know, it oh, just no sits way. wrong. Yeah. With me. You don't no go to Subway for the chicken, though. I mean, unless you get the chicken <laughs> bacon ranch, it's good. Boy, you gotta get like the fucking the Southwest steak and cheese. That's a banger. The fucking the Black Forest ham if you're trying to be a little healthy. Like, Subway is a thing that, like, I never look forward to eating Subway, but when I get it, I'm like, yeah, that was that was what I needed. See, the chat's kind of on my side. It's like, Subway is always my absolute last choice for subs. It's like, if I'm going to Subway, why don't I just go to, like, Jersey Mike's instead, which is really good. Jersey, you know? We don't really got Jersey Mike's around here, but the thing is... Aw, oh, Jersey Mike's is so good. They're really, really good. The thing is, though, like, a lot of, around here, we have a lot of delis that make sandwiches, and those are always better than the Subway ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Subway more like subpar. <laughs> Got him. Oh god, all the, the, the veggie delight. And, yeah, it's vegetables and oil. The sandwich. I have. It's called a veggie delight. I have. I cannot imagine a person being delighted to eat that. They should call it a veggie acceptable. Yeah. And that's the thing. That's what Jared lost weight on. People yeah. act like I Subway Jared calories, was like so. eating meatball subs and shit. He was eating the veggie delight. And the fucking clean turkey You'll sandwich. See. He also had a copious exercise with little boys. Too. Yeah. That. I mean, Jared, Jared's career started the way it ended, which was trying to fit into smaller pants. Hell yeah. <laughs> Next to the suburbs. That's not my joke, by the way. I'll open I know, I've heard that joke a million times, but it always bangs. Can you imagine being in, like, the late 90s, and someone walks up to you, and in full earnesty, they point to the Jared Subway commercials, and they say, Do you see that man? He's a massive pedophile. I mean... And they're, and they're not even joking. Would, would you be like, no, J Subway Jared. Look at the, Subway the guy, Jared. The guy who smiles with all of his teeth? Oh, no way, he's a pedophile. <laughs> I'll be real, man. When I saw that dude for the first time, this was like over, over like a decade ago. I, in my head, I was like, he fucked kid. I just didn't <laughs> think, you know, because like, you know, it was a fucking mood instinct. Look, I don't know it. what it is, but there's dude, something pedophilic about that dude, man. I, I, dude, I'm telling you, when you got glasses like that and you got that curved smile, you've been in more boys' pants than I care to fucking want to know about. But I, like, like I, as like, much as I hate to quote like old school Maddox. He, like, he nailed it with the, the thing he article back in the day. They got the pedo smile. Yeah. I was That's what the, the pedo thing, smile. Same thing, yeah. Smiles with all of his teeth. I fucking love that. The pedo oh, smile. He's got, he's got this smug smile, like, haha, no one's gonna believe you, 12 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can take me down? I'm Jared, the Subway sandwich guy. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> Imagine going I am above the law. God, imagine being one of his kids in his harem, and then you grow up and you're like 35, and you go, I can't believe I was molested by Jared the Subway Sandwich yeah. Man. I wasn't even molested by somebody cool. Can you imagine if Jared was, like, packing heat? I'd rather I'd not. Feel like I, I feel like guys like Jared, they're all, like, little dick guys, but, like, you never know. Maybe that, maybe that's why he has a smile. Like, he's just like, man, I got this fat fucking top. Yeah, like, if I like, had, like, a 10 incher, I'd smile with all my teeth, too. You can throw me in jail, but you can't get rid of my inches. In fact, put me in jail, it'll be- <laughs> yeah, I'll just you break out with my dog, it's a wrecking ball. <laughs> actually, like, actually, Miley Cyrus wrote that song about Subway Jared's dick. Cause like, not, not only is it massive, it's bulbous. Miley like a wrecking Cyrus's ball. Career started because she saw how big Jared's dick was. She was like, yeah, gotta write a she was like, he, like he, he was her muse. <laughs> There's only, there's only a few penises in the world that you can write songs about, boys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, nor, it's not nor every day that a cock inspires me to write a tune, but this one, I've got something to say.